Hey everybody, my name is Ben Farrell. I worked with James Hurlbut on an After Effects MCP server. So if you're not familiar with MCP, it's new, but it's attempting to be sort of a universal plugin solution that lets various AI tools like Claude know how to interact and take action on a specific system. So I am using an AI and it can do things for me in various programs or you know databases or whatever. Here, we wanted to leverage Mike Chambers' existing work doing the same thing for Photoshop, Premiere, and InDesign. Have that AI take action and do things for us in those various programs. So James, he leveraged various coding assistants and documentation to create a mind-blowing amount of functionality just using ExtendStrip communicating over a TCP port. Um, a good deal of working on this involved playing to see where we hit walls with what we had uh, going for us. And, um, you know, this next thing is a good example of first steps. So right here, uh, I wanted to start with a blank slate. Um, and after playing around with it for a little while, I knew its limitations. I knew it could create a new uh, composition for me, so I started there. Um, I also knew that it's not so great at creating shapes yet. That's just a limitation um, that's easily overcome. But it's great at creating what After Effects called solids. So lots of rectangles, lots of squares. So I said, hey, make me 20 squares, all slightly different colors from each other, and I want them all to animate all over the place. And uh, it did that. In the end, we got a nice little animation. It's basically what I asked for. Um, I like the idea of not doing all, all this in one shot though. So I wanted to have some more direction. So I said, hey, let's do the same thing. Let's add 20 more squares, make them yellowish, have different animation paths. So this is what it did and exactly right. So um, as a final step for this little experiment, I said, hey, use your imagination, add some flourish. And so this is what it did. It, you know, it unfortunately created some text for me, but I can easily change that um, manually or even tell it to change that. But it created some nice little, you know, effects uh, and um, I think we can do better. Now, one of the new features of After Effects is the ability to create entire 3D scenes right inside After Effects, no, no external software required. Um, and so, of course, we want to take full advantage of that. Um, Here's a very basic scene I created. I basically said, hey, draw a bunch of cubes on a floor and have the camera drive through. And it, it did just that. Now, with all of these basic shapes, uh, I thought we needed something a little bit better. So uh, I turned to a website called PHLearn, which has some Photoshop tutorials on it. This is an example file of a collage. And you can see that... Um, it looks pretty slick. It has um, lots of stuff in it. It has uh, lots of layers. Uh, so there's a spark layer right here. You can see that the hearts are a spark, um, some texturing on it. And of course, the, the subject, who's the, the woman right here, um, she does have a, a little bit of background you can see right uh, beyond that. And, you know, without too much thought, I wanted to bring this in. So I manually added it as layers in After Effects. And I, I told I told Claude the AI just to use the layer names as inspiration and do whatever you think is right. And so here's what it came up with. So I thought this was a good exploration and I think it really hits home when you get to these these already created assets. Um, and I was happy to leave it there, uh, but you know, while we were working on this video, James decided to go even further with this use case. I'll let James tell you all about it. I was interested if we could get the MCP to do some kind of traditional workflow help with routine tasks that can take time from creative tasks. So these are a couple of animations that were created from layered illustrator documents. The, the MCP, we're able to say, tell the MCP, can you import this illustrator document and keep all the layers consistent with the original document in the composition? And it does that and it creates a composition with all of the layers from our document laid out. One of the issues is that uh, all the layers have non-descriptive names, so I was wondering could we get the MCP to look at the contents of the layers and then come up with a short descriptive name. So when I ask it to do that, what it does is it goes through and solos each of the layers and then renders it out to a ping file. And then it sends that ping file to the Claude Vision API to describe what's in the image. 
<clears throat> and then it renames the layer back in the composition with that name. And one of the challenges with that is that, you know, each time you want to hide the visibility of a layer, it takes, you know, five to ten seconds, and this is the result. You can see these are somewhat good descriptive names now. Each time you do that call, it can take up to like five or ten seconds per visibility. So I tried batching the visibility, and then ultimately I used the solo, which was just a single call for each visibility. So it'll solo the layer, and then it'll render it out to a ping on the disk, and then send it to the Vision API, get back a description, and then rename that layer. And then once we have the layer names, we can kind of do more guided animations. So here I'm saying, you know, make the star elements pulse and make the text elements fade in and out. So you can get these kind of simple but tasteful animations. So this is another example. Here I told it to animate the hands coming in from the sides and then animate the, the leaves rotating. And it did a pretty good job in this example. I also told it to make an ephemeral UI that lets me control some of the parameters so I can control the different stages of the animation and tweak it once the keyframes are set. In summary, by using the extend script to create an MCP server for After Effects, we've shown that we can have the client import a PSD or layered AI file off the drive create a new After Effects project from it, create a composition with all the layers intact, and then have it come up with descriptive names for the layers based on using the Claude Vision API and the MCP command for rendering out the layers to ping files. And then we are able to create guided animations by using the descriptive names of the layers to tell the MCP what to keyframe when, and then having the MCP create ephemeral UI that we can use to adjust the animation that it creates.